My name is David Torrance. I am a professional track athlete sponsored by Hoka One One. I recently competed in the Rio Olympics representing Peru. I didn't really start running and like thinking of it as serious until my freshman year of track at Loyola High School. What really started my dedication to it was uh, me and another freshman, Micah Tyher, went over to our coach, uh, Lalo Diaz, and said, hey coach, you know, what What can we do to get better? You know, let us know, we can do anything. And he's okay, show up here at 6.30 a.m. Monday morning. And before you know it, like, it's my senior year and now everyone's coming to morning practices and we're all kind of pushing each other and working hard with this goal of like winning the state championship. When I watch those kids, it just, it totally reminds me of myself and I tell them that. I'm no different from you guys. I walk in there and just the smell of the place, I can smell like the sweat, just like this yearning to, 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 to be better. I'm excited to see you guys this season. I'm excited to see you guys rise in the ranks and give it a hell of a year. I know it sounds like a, like a coaching cliche that if you work hard, you will reach your goals, but he truly personifies that. And to have taken the colors of Loyola into that stadium with him, it, it brought pride to all of our Loyola family. I'm just like them, you know, I, I'm no different. I came in here, I worked my butt off. I wasn't always the best. I had bad years, had good years. And, but what I had was that belief, you know? I just feel like these kids all work so hard, that we all work so hard that it's almost a respect thing. I come here to respect them as much as they kind of look up to me and respect me. Cubs on me, Cubs on three. One, two, three. Cubs! Growing up as a young kid, I always knew I was half Peruvian. And I'm from Los Angeles originally. I have roots here, but also in Peru. Uh, my mom, she was born and raised there. Uh, her whole family moved out to Los Angeles. And yeah, we had like our own little Peruvian community out here. Oh man, that's good. Growing up with all my other family around, all my aunts and uncles and my grandma especially. Going to our house every day after school, family parties, birthdays, holidays. This is the house right here. And yeah, this is really kind of where I developed my, my Peruvian identity, I would say. You know, that's where I always knew I was Peruvian. It's where I always knew um, that's where my family came from. Eating Peruvian food, listening to Peruvian music, uh, you know, getting scolded by my grandma all the time. I just swear it was like a quarter mile. Going back today, like I hadn't been back to Topeka Drive in a very long time. And so walking around there, I was just like, oh, wow, this is just, it just, Feels. It, just, it literally feels like there should be a sign there that says Little Peru. Yeah, really special place. So I always knew I was going to run for Peru at some point. Last year at the Pan American Games, I uh, got in contact with the president of the Olympic Committee for Peru. We looked at what it all took to, to make it happen and just so worked out that like, oh wow, we can, you, can, you could do this in time for Rio. I'm very proud of my heritage, I've always been, and it's something that just really made sense to me when we found out all the logistics that could work out. Yeah, I wasn't so sure how quickly I'd be accepted by Peru. I've gotten some criticism of being like, oh, he's not really Peruvian. I mean, from some Peruvians as well, as well as some Americans, but they don't know my experience. They don't know where, where I've been, where I've gone through, um, how I've been raised, and uh, I'm fine with that. You know, they, hopefully they can accept me. I think a lot of the Peruvians have. I mean, I was the first Peruvian Olympian to ever qualify to a final in athletics and track and field. So I was so honored to. I mean, I, I had carried the flag in the closing ceremony for Peru, and it was such a crazy honor, and just how much they really uh, embraced me. I'm hoping this is like the first step in, in many to kind of show, show the Peruvian people, show, show kids that like, hey, you know, they can do it too. There is no difference between us and anyone else in the world. Just put in the work and work smart and you can get there. You have to believe in yourself. You have to, because people are gonna doubt you. You're gonna doubt yourself. People that are close to you are gonna doubt you. People that are experts are gonna doubt you. It just, it always happens. You have to have the belief. You have to have that, that faith in yourself. Otherwise, you won't ever find your true potential if you don't. 
Hoka has been incredibly supportive of me. I was one of a few Hoka athletes to have made it to the games. And it's just a good feeling when you have a company of people behind you that, you know, I mean, they're, they're putting the shoes on my feet, literally, you know? The foundation, I feel like, for any kind of success is that raw internal fire that you have, but you know what, I can do this. And I've been lucky to have had that. Thank you.